Hi, my love, beautiful souls. This is Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with True Bringing Dark into Light. This channel message. Okay, guys, again, I was actually thought I was going to be done with uh, the channeling stuff. And this is going to go back to the video about the brother interfering in your relationship. Spirit told me to actually, when I was walking, I got more of a download from it. Okay, the reason the brother, I'm hearing this karmic brother, is interfering in your relationship or in your business or career, this karmic brother is very, very jealous, okay? Jealous that you are living your life, that you're happy, you're moving forward. And this jealous, this karmic brother is jealous and is wanting to have what you have, okay? Is wanting to have what you have. And so this, this karmic brother is interfering because he, he is upset, he is jealous, He's envy that he does not have that and his life is falling apart. That he has so many close outside or so many cycles that is not closed out and that so much chaos and so much um, karmic energy. There's so much things that are going on in his life. And so he's just, he, I, I'm hearing this brother, this karmic brother is jealous, envy, okay? That he does not have what you have, okay? Or what your person has, okay? That is why he's interfering in the relationship. It's because he's jealous and he wants to have that. He's never had that. He's never had the love that um, you have or um, as a child, his parents giving him. But I am hearing the parents love him. Like he had love, his parents, but never had like real, really like love from like a relationship or somebody caring about them. Okay. Or passionate about something. Okay. Having something that actually does things for him. So like, as I said, I was hearing earlier this karmic brother is interfering in a possibly divine feminine, divine masculine relationship or some relationship. And I'm getting the confirmation that the reason he is uh, interfering in this relationship is because he's jealous and envy of it. Okay. He wants to have what you have or what your person has. That's what he wants. He wants to have that. And he's envy and jealous of that. And so he is causing interference, destruction. Right? Well, I mean, he's self-destructing, but he's, when he's self-destructing, he's trying to take you with or your person with, okay? Because of that jealousy. He see, I, I just keep hearing, he sees this relationship and he sees that that's what he wants. And he's jealous he doesn't have it. I'm also here seeing, hearing that he's jealous that he sees his brother or sister healing, growing, moving forward. And he's, what else I'm hearing is he's afraid that um, you or your person is going to leave him behind. Leave him behind. Leave him all alone. He's feeling abandoned, okay? And that's what I'm hearing too, he's feeling abandoned. He could have felt abandoned before. He could have been felt alone. I'm hearing that his family could have abandoned him. Okay, something happened. And that's why this abandonment, abandonment issues and this jealousy and envy is happening. What I'm hearing is that he feels abandoned, like he's being abandoned by you or your person, but he possibly abandoned his family. And so it's his own insecurities. Whoa, what is that? It's his own insecurities. I don't know if you guys can see that stuff up there. Um, we have this guy. There's like an orb. Wow, there's an orb. Wow. Hold on, you guys. Look at orb. I see what somebody was talking about around me. Like, wow. Wow. Those are stars, you guys. I'm putting them, I'm putting them in my phone up to the stars. Something about looking up to the stars. Yeah, this karmic brother sees that you're, you or your person is moving forward and is afraid that they're going to be left behind, that they're not going to be a part of this this part of your path, part of your journey, a part of this relationship. And what I am hearing, they're not supposed to be part of it. I'm not trying to be mean, but I am hearing they're not supposed to be part of it because they don't want to grow. They don't want to heal. They don't want to do the work. Okay, so what I'm hearing, this karmic brother does not want to do the work. This karmic brother does not want to close out cycles. This karmic brother is holding on to cycles that are still open. That's why I'm hearing this karmic brother may not be part of it. So it's not you guys abandoning him. It's him actually causing the abandonment, causing this to happen is what I'm hearing. He's causing it on himself by not, by not closing out the cycles that he's meant to close out. Because his karmic brother is meant to close out cycles and he's not closing out cycles. He's running. I'm hearing he's running from his problems. He's running from his, his crime. He's running from his insecurities. He's running. He's running. That's what I keep hearing. He's running. And by him running... He is not closing out the cycles. And so he's jealous and envy that he sees that you or your person has closed out cycles. That you have a good relationship. I'm also hearing good career. Good family moving forward. 
he sees that you're happy or your person's happy. Spirit is telling me that he can have this. This karmic brother can have this happily ever after or this relationship that you or your person has. This karmic brother can have that, but his, this karmic brother has to close out cycles. This karmic brother has to own up to his actions, own up to his consequences, because that's what he's doing. He's running away from his consequences. He's running away from the things that he, he caused, that he did. He's running away from this stuff. And by him running away, he's doing it to himself. And he may not be, uh, spirits tell me he may not be, you know, saying it out loud or anything like that. But ultimately, deep down in his conscious, he is jealous and envy. Okay? He is jealous and envy of what you have or what your person has. And that's what he wants. To be honest, the only way you're going to get that is if you actually grow and heal. And you, you own up to your, your mistakes. Because I'm hearing he made a lot of mistakes. And that's why he's not able to move forward too. Is because he's not owning up to his mistakes. And he's, he's running from them. He's running. And the more he continues to run, the farther he's going to be um, pushed away. Like, not be part of this path. By him being low vibrational frequency, he doesn't want to do the shadow work. Doesn't want to work on... His inner, inner trauma and deals with his consequences. He's doing it to himself. It's not you. It's not your person. It's him. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going to hang up this. Like, I'm going to click off this and then I'm going to get another download. That's what it seems like always is I end up clicking off of it and I get the download. As I was getting ready to go home. And I got a message saying, no, that karmic brother interfering in the life is because... He's jealous and envy of this relationship that you or your person has. Or the career. I'm hearing career as well. Okay? Career. Because you fought your demons. Okay? Or your person's fought their demons. I'm hearing somebody's fighting their demons. Or somebody's, somebody's doing the work. Somebody did the work and they had to do the work. Somebody literally did a lot of work. And this karmic brother doesn't understand how you have it different and it or your person has it different and that you guys are able to move forward and go this way. He doesn't understand that. And I'm hearing he doesn't understand that because he's running. He thinks everything's fun and games and laughing about it too. I'm hearing, okay, something about what he did, his crime, his actions, his consequences, what he did. He thinks it's fun and games. So this, this karmic brother literally thinks any, all the stuff, stuff that he's done. Um, if he has admit to it, he thinks it's funny. He thinks it's fun and games. Okay. I'm hearing this, 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 this is a bad guy. This is, this is a, a karmic brother that's a criminal that gets adrenaline rush by committing crimes. I'm hearing a um, menace, to, um, menace to society now too. So a nuisance or whatever, menace to society, that this, this karmic brother could be a criminal offender or a obituary, obituary offender that continues to make do crimes over and over. They, ha they may not have remorse. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, a, a bitch with a thunder. I'm hearing somebody, yeah, decides to commit crimes. Somebody gets off of committing crimes. They want to commit one crime to another crime to another crime. And that's why you're not supposed to be in this brother's, this brother's, he's not supposed to be on your per path because of this. You are not supposed to be, you've walked away, you moved away from it. Wow, sorry, I'm looking at the sky, I see something moving. You watch where you move from it, and spirit, God is trying to keep you away, keep you distracted away from this karmic brother, trying to keep you away so you don't go down this dark path with this brother, because this brother is, he, it doesn't look like he's going to get himself any better right now, because he's running from his problems, he's running from his consequences, and not wanting to grow up and take responsibility of his own actions, of his own consequences, and I'm hearing do the time. Okay, he did the crime, he's supposed to be doing the time, and he doesn't want to. What? Let's look at this. I think one might be a satellite, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, somebody likes to get off, they get a throw off that. This, this karmic brother could be paranoid too and has to look over his shoulders everywhere he goes. If he's on the run, he's, if he's running from his problems, from crime, he has to look over his shoulders 
okay? So he can be paranoid, not knowing when he's going to get picked up, not knowing he's not going to be able to live his life. That's the thing. He's not going to be able to live his life. He's literally not going to be able to live his life because he's running from the law. He's running from his own problems. So he's not going to actually be able to live his life. And you or your person is living your life. You are living your life. You're supposed to be living our lives. We all are supposed to be living our lives to the fullest. But when you're running from the law and you're running from your problems, you're not able to live like a normal human being. And that's why he, he could be, I'm hearing that's why he could be jealous of you too, is because you're, you're living, you're living, and he is not. And he's unable to live because he's running. He's hiding. Yeah, this mask is hiding. So somebody's dealing with a karmic brother that's hiding from the law. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.